All right, so I just made another video basically for legal reasons, but um, I decided not to, I'm not gonna post it. I'm gonna post this one instead, but I'll go ahead and do a breakdown. So this is my front yard here, you know, typical Florida front yard. Here's my yard here. Cut it about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks. I just got hit by the city saying that I have a nuisance yard and a majority of my yard is over 15 inches. So I guess tomorrow morning I'm gonna take a ride up to the city. But yeah, this is, this is considered a nuisance yard. So now yesterday I also caught the city opening people's uh, fence and going into their backyard. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to take a walk and have a nice little video with, with you guys. Uh, he's been going around inspecting, you know, going in people's backyards and stuff like that. So I figure I'd go ahead and check up on him. Actually, not really check on him. I'm just kind of curious how many other people have notices. I know my neighbor got hit yesterday. Oh, and whenever I was talking to him, I asked him who the supervisor was that uh, told him to to target this neighborhood. And he said, oh, so I'm not going to say his name, but uh, Mr. So-and-so told me to hit this neighborhood. So, yeah, this is, uh, now see, they do not have one for some reason. They don't have one. But yeah, this is uh, this is that Gestapo bullshit where they're gonna go through and try to do something to this neighborhood. It happened a few years ago. So, but I have his uh, number and everything else, and I'm gonna come and talk with him for a second. You know. Yeah, I tried calling that Hoffman person you was talking about, and all the phone numbers are going to voicemails and no one's answering the phone. Do you have any kind of number or uh, to your office? Before the holiday, so. I understand that. Well, that's about it. Is the office open at uh, at the Ed Ball building? Yes. Okay, so I can go there and file a complaint. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and I and so you targeted my house, but not others that have more overgrowth than mine. Targeted. You've been targeting at all different heights. Yes. Yeah. And then you were told right. to, to... Right here. Right here in front of us. Right. But there's other properties on the street that have way more overgrowth Didn't than... You say I didn't do that. Right. Well, there's no paperwork outside. I probably took it already. I already encountered people like yourself who came to me and showed me the paper and I explained the same thing that I explained to you. Right. So and uh, and like you said, it was that particular person who told you to hit, to hit this neighborhood, correct? The city. Right, but your you your office here has been on these streets for two days correct. now in a row. Correct. Yes. And I'm the just the city has told us to come to this neighborhood. This neighborhood. Yes. Okay. Windy Hill. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you were told to come to this neighborhood, yeah, and it yeah. seems like you're hitting every single house, every or pretty close. House that we every house. That there is a violation in the ordinance, then we'll let them know that they need to do whatever they have to do to clear that. And that's it. Okay. And they come back two weeks from now. It's there is no fines involved at this point. There is none. They just gonna letting you know that cut your grass, pick up the trash. Uh, Fences, broken fences, correct the fences, repair the fences. Uh, you do know that most of this, these people are out of work and they can't... It is It is part of the city. It's an ordinance. Right. But uh, everybody has to follow, including myself. 
Okay. Somebody, not myself, most likely, somebody else from my unit will go to my house. Unknown to me. And and if I don't have everything according to the ordinance, they will cite me. Well. Yeah, because I read the ordinance and I and I went online and looked at the floor, and it does not fit the description of what you said I'm violating. Well, I mean, it says the majority of the yard. I literally have six plants yes. that are above 15 inches. Uh, the mayor could change these ordinances, and the chief could change these ordinances. Wait, the mayor can change Florida right. statutes? Because I went on the Florida statute, not your little violation thing, but I went on to the actual Florida statute, and it mm -hmm. my yard does not go in line with what the Florida statute says. But, yeah. Um, but so this is the mayor that's... Well, don't unquote me. I don't, I'm not even sure who it is who could change these things because well, it's I know... It's supposed know, to be a law and changed by the Florida Senate. I know that uh, something came up that says the word or and that included... But it also like says the majority of the yard, mm -hmm. and and the uh, you know six little tiny weeds that grew fast. Then the rest of the grass does not con, con you know I don't think that considers the majority of the yard. Okay. Well, you could you could debate it with, with whoever comes next. Well, who do I debate it with? Because I've been trying to call well, people and nobody's said, answering. Like I said, it's three in the afternoon. I I don't know what to tell you. Um, well, do you have a, a card or a phone number that I can call? Because well, I've tried calling the, the city. The, the business card that I have is mine, you know, my phone number. So you, we're talking right now. Okay. My business card, I would give it to you. But it's so how would, I, how would I get in contact with the higher-ups in your office? Because I've called, I tried calling 630 City. I've called the number, which whenever you go to the general line, it goes back to 630 City. Mm -hmm. So who, who well, can... Usually somebody answers the phone. And, and, I've and, called three times. And they will transfer the phones to whoever it is. They transfer it to 630 City. That's what I'm saying. They they go back and I they're never just... Called, so I don't know. Okay. I don't know. So there's no procedure. office number. There's no... It says seventh floor of the Ed Ball building. Is that it where is your correct. office is? And that's department. where And that's where your supervisor is? Neighborhood department. Yeah, neighborhood correct. department. Correct. All right. Business well, not for... I want to speak with the supervisor mm -hmm. on why this particular neighborhood was targeted. You, yes, you could debate with them. You know, and then again, you know, why I, I, because I, I mean, I put videos on YouTube all the time. I am recording, but I'm not putting you on. I hope you're not. I'm only you're recording the conversation, you not, are. not you. So. You, you didn't uh, ever told me that you were recording me. No, I'm recording me walking up and down the street, no, but, but you're since you're here. recording our conversation. Well, yeah. Because no. I'm trying to figure out why I'm being uh, targeted. You didn't ask me. I did ask you. Well, I guess that's how the city works. <sighs> so, yeah. This is pretty much the shit that we as people, we the people, deal with. That I'm being categorized as a nuisance person for having a couple of weeds that grew up quicker than the grass. So, I'm going to go ahead and post this to YouTube. And, uh, I guess I'm going to start knocking on some doors. Let's see if we can get a little community outreach here. So, you heard it. His supervisor and the mayor has targeted this neighborhood. And, uh, I don't know the reason why either. That's the, that's the thing is... This neighborhood is a quiet neighborhood. Most of the people here, you know, are very low income or, you know, barely middle class. Most of these houses are not very expensive homes, you know. And I was raised in this neighborhood and I know these people. But you see how uh, he was willing to divulge any kind of information until I said, hey, you know, I'm making a recording. And now all of a sudden he does not want to talk at all. So, oh well. I think that's going to be it for right now. Um, if anybody has any information on how to contact, I'm going to go to the Ed Ball building and talk to that gentleman. 
So, yeah. And I'm still waiting on my inspector. He still hasn't called. But anyways, I mean, again, you know, I see I blocked my address. So that is considered a nuisance yard, which was cut two weeks ago. Anyways, peace, love, money. I'm out.